Hey everybody, it's Billy P, the bilateral amputee. I just got out of the shower and I'm about to throw some clothes on. I'll figure, uh, show you how I do that. I'm gonna put a pair of pants on, show you how I fasten them, I'm gonna slide a shirt on. That way you can see how I do that. And again, I'm using these prosthetics and they work off my bicep and tricep muscle, spinning, opening and closed. So I'm gonna do this for you. I already got my pants ready. All right, here we go. No, I want to get back to as much normality as I could when I lost my arms and, I, and try not to use too much adaptive stuff to do this kind of thing, to dress and everything. For the most part, I have. And I'm going to take these hooks and I'm going to articulate them down. That way it's easy to get to my, to my pants. But you can see how I got them articulated down. The way I can get to them, grab a hole. Sometimes these things don't quite work the way you want them to. I'll pull them up. Sometimes you gotta reach back here and get into that belt loop, pull them up in the back. There we go, got the pants on. And you can see with these bent like that, it's a whole lot easier to get down here to get to the zipper and fasten them. But here we go, zip them up a little bit. I try to not to get myself too out of whack doing this. There's a zipper. All right, I'm gonna fasten it. I'm gonna use a piece of string, just tie it in a loop. It took me a while to learn how to do this. Oop, a little cock there. I'm gonna put that right in there. How'd you come up with the string idea? Uh, well, you know, in the beginning, I only I had a, one of the biggest problems was fastening my pants with a string. I mean, at all, and then I just went to a buddy's house of mine to, to get my pants fastened one day, and I just happened to have a string sitting on the coffee table, and it just popped into my mind on how to do this. But I'll take the string, run it through, I'll wrap it around the button, hold it with my right, grab the string, I'll put it on the doorknob, I'll just grab my pants right here, and that don't come off the door now. It usually don't happen, but it did. Let me do it this way. I just grab my pants right here and pull this way, and it pulls that button right up through there. Take it off, good to go. Let me kind of zipping these up a little bit. All right, I'm gonna straighten these back out, and I'm gonna show you how I put a shirt on. Let me straighten these out real quick. Alright, it's a mystery. We're gonna wear the mystery machine shirt today. <laughs> Got an APT cooking class I'm going to later on this evening up in Columbus, Ohio. That's why I'm getting ready to go do all that. About a three and a half hour drive. Sometimes this takes just a little bit longer. But the thing is, I want to get to, like I said, I, I didn't want to use too much adaptive stuff once I got to where I could use these prosthetics. So I can usually put these things on without using any kind of adaptive equipment except for my prosthetics. Here we go. There's one in there. There's the other. Get it all pulled back here. Put it back over the elbows. It's always easier if you gotta make sure it's over the elbow there. And I'll grab it and see how I grab it back of it with my hook. Kind of jump up and down a little bit. <laughs> Get this sucker down there, you know. Where? There we go. But uh ladies and gentlemen, that's how this amputee gets his butt dressed in the morning. Remember, where there's a will, there's a way. Stay you, stay positive, and be safe, my friends. Later.